ligaments of the knee there are four basic ligaments which are the major stabilizers of the knee joint two of them are intracapsular and extrasynovial known as the cruciate ligaments one anterior and one posterior and two of them called the collateral ligaments are extrinsic ligaments the medial and the lateral collateral ligaments coming to each of them one by one anterior cruciate ligament it is attached to a fossa on the posteromedial aspect of the lateral femoral condyle distally it is attached to a fossa anterior and lateral to anterior tibial spine the acl is a two bundle ligament with a small anteromedial and a larger posterolateral bundle it is the primary restraint to anterior tibial displacement with the posterolateral bundle providing the principal resistance to hyperextension forces coming to the posterior posterior cruciate ligament the posterior cruciate ligament originates in the lateral aspect of the medial femoral condyle crosses the acl and attaches to posterior intercondylar fossa of the tibia it is a central stabilizer of the knee restraining posterior tibial displacement on the femur functionally the pcl2 is divided into an anterior and central portion which is forming the main bulk and a posterior longitudinal and a posterior oblique component which constitutes only of 10% of its substance we have to remember that pcl is much much stronger than acl and therefore pcl tears occur when the injury is pretty severe coming to the collateral ligaments the medial collateral ligament also known as the tibial collateral ligament is the main ligament on the medial side of the knee primarily resisting valgus forces on the knee it extends from the medial epicondyle of the femur to the medial condyle of tibia the fibers of posterior part of this ligament are short and incline backwards and insert into the tibia just above a groove for the semi membranosus tendon we have to remember that crossing on top of the lower part of mcl is the pes anserinus tendons with the pes anserinus bursa interposed between the two mcl has distinctly two fibers the superficial and the deep fibers the deep fibers are closely attached to the medial meniscus via the meniscofemoral and meniscotibial ligaments so meniscal injuries are closely associated with medial collateral ligament injuries in the medial aspect coming to the lateral collateral ligament or the fibular collateral ligament it originates from the lateral epicondyle of the femur goes up to the fibula it is the primary varus stabilizer of the knee lcl injury are associated with posterolateral corner injuries which is a total separate segment we'll be dealing with later we have to remember unlike the mcl the acl has no direct connection with the joint capsule or the lateral meniscus and is separated from it by a small fat pad